Hey guys, Happy New Year! If you're new to this channel, my name is Nanette and this is Vita Reptilia. This video is going to be about turtle feeding, specifically for aquatic turtles. So in case you're wondering what, how, or when to feed your pet turtle, then this might be the video for you. So stick around and I hope you learn something new in this video. So the first thing that I'm going to mention is the turtle food. What can I feed my turtle? Well, the main source of protein should be coming from their pellets. We feed our turtle the Zumed aquatic food. Tiny eats the hatchling formula and Tony eats a mixture of the growth formula and Reppy sticks. Other good brands would be Fluker's Buffet Blend and Reptamin. You can find these at your local pet store and reptile store. Majority of pellets float to the surface, but there are also pellets that sink to the bottom. And these are made for turtles that are more of a bottom swimmer, such as your musk and mat turtles. But aside from pellets, you want to give them a mixed diet. You can mix it up by giving them bloodworms, shrimps, fruits such as strawberries and blackberries, green leafy vegetables such as collard greens, lettuce, kale. You could even give them carrots, just as long as you rinse them thoroughly and look out for any rotten parts and pests. The age of your turtle and the type of pellets to feed them go hand in hand. So hopefully you guys know the age of your turtle. For example, hatchling and juvenile turtles need the most protein, so you want to start them out with the hatchling formula which contains 43% of protein. And then for young adults, you want to give them the growth formula which contains 35% of protein. And then for mature and full grown turtles, you want to give them the maintenance pellets which contains 25% of protein. There are different ways that you can feed your turtle. You can throw their pellets in the tank. You can feed them in a separate container, you can hand feed them, or use tongs. We use a little bit of everything. Hand feeding is a good way to bond with your turtle and it helps them get more comfortable with you. You just want to make sure to wash your hands after you feed them. You also want to keep an eye out on your turtle when you're feeding them in a separate container because they can fall over or escape and you don't want that to happen. And not a lot of people know this, but aquatic turtles need to be submerged underwater in order for them to swallow their food. The second thing would be the food portion. How much food do I give my turtle in one serving? Some people say to feed your turtle as much as they can eat in five minutes, while others have a set amount of pellets that they feed their turtle. This is a method that we use for Tony. What we did to determine this was we used a small snack size Ziploc bag and poured a decent amount of pellets to start. Then we condensed the pellets to the corner of the bag and then compared it to Tony's head size. Then we poured the pellets to a separate container just to better count the pellets. And we feed Tony this amount every other day since he is a young adult turtle. The third and most important thing that I'm going to mention is having a set feeding schedule for your turtle because oftentimes, and I'm guilty for this too, we tend to overfeed our turtle. A common mistake is that we feed them whenever we feel like it or when you see your turtle begging for food. Now this can be harmful for your turtle because one, it'll cause your turtle to be overweight and two, it'll cause your turtle to look larger than they're supposed to be for their age. We unfortunately had to learn the hard way. When we first got Tony, and I'm sure new turtle owners can relate, we were just so excited to have him. We kept feeding him pellets and treats whenever we noticed him begging for food. And we weren't as knowledgeable at the time, but after doing some research, we learned that we have been overfeeding him and giving him too much protein and not enough of a mixed diet. One obvious sign of overfeeding is presence of shell pyramiding. So normally a turtle's shell would be evenly smooth and free from bumps, but as you can see, Tony has pyramid shaped bumps all around his shell. Uh, this shape of his shell is unfortunately irreversible. Compared to Tiny's shell, her shell is growing smoothly because we learned a lesson from our experience with Tony and we adjusted accordingly. So hopefully you guys are watching this video early on to help prevent this from happening to your turtle. So you gotta have a feeding schedule and how often you feed your turtle also depends on their age. So the general rule of thumb is for a hatchling or a juvenile turtle, meaning a year old or less, you want to feed them more frequently, so every day. And for young adult turtles between the ages of 1 to 5 years old, you just want to feed them every other day. 
And for mature and fully grown turtles, so five year old and above, that's when you want to feed them less frequently, so every three days or twice a week. So pretty much the younger the turtle, the more frequent and more protein they're going to need. And then the older the turtle, the less frequent and the less protein they'll need. But you do want to up their vegetables and fruits. In order to help remember your feeding schedule, you can set an alarm on your phone or set a little reminder on your calendar. So for those of you who are struggling to feed your turtle pellets, uh, don't feel discouraged. It took us a couple months and a lot of trial and error before Tiny started eating pellets. We tried to offer her pellets when we first got her, but she showed no interest in them. And rather than not feeding her at all, we fed her bloodworms instead. So for a while, she was only interested in bloodworms, but we would still offer her pellets anyway. What we did was we didn't feed Tiny for a couple of days just to help increase her appetite and eventually give in to the pellets. And I know that sounds a bit cruel not feeding your turtle, but turtles can actually last weeks without eating. But unfortunately, this technique didn't work. So what we did next was we started feeding Tiny in a separate container and we would crush the pellets for her. And this seemed to do the trick. So we did that for about a month and then she gradually went from eating crushed pellets to whole pellets. So you just gotta have a lot of patience and see what works best for your turtle because all turtles are different. And some turtles may not even like certain fruits and vegetables, so you just gotta work with different foods as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I did try to mention and narrow down all the important things, but if I forgot anything, please mention that in the comments. We also just came out with our first merch. So if you like this shirt that I'm wearing, go ahead and hit us up on our Instagram. I also do a lot of live feedings on there, so you guys might wanna check that out. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this channel. And until next time, deuces.